It's the Happy Families Podcast. It's the podcast for the time poor parent who just wants answers now. I love the Helen Keller quote. Life is a daring adventure or it is nothing. And it has certainly been a daring adventure ever since you came into my life. (laughs) Let's make it an adventure. (laughs) And now here's the stars of our show, my mum and dad. G'day, this is Dr. Justin Coulson, the author of a lot of books about raising happy families. I'm here with Kylie, my wife and mum, to our six daughters. Uh, It's been quite a week, Kylie. It has. It's our first week, solid week, where we are actually living in separate houses. You've done a lot of travelling over the years, Mm. so we have spent a lot of nights on our own, but this is the first time we've actually lived... (laughs) Separately. In separate houses. Yeah, yeah. So you've got the kids, you're on the coast, I'm at home in Bris Vegas, getting the house ready to pack up and sell up and the tradies are coming in and tidying up and all that sort of stuff. And it's been a week. In, in fact, between me doing all that and you, well, I mean, your, your week's been pretty full on, right? I'm looking for a house. We don't even we don't even really know the coast, so I don't know suburbs. I don't know. I don't know what the schools Thank are like. Thank goodness for Google Maps. I don't know. I don't know anything. We don't know anyone here, really. So I'm I'm pretty much on my own, and while I'm doing that, you're down here working, navigating tradies, writing a book. Yeah, and the, <laughs> and the list, list goes, goes on. on. So we wanted to uh, share with you a little bit. So every Friday, I'll do better tomorrow is an episode where we take you into our lives, uh, our reflections as we try to make that incremental, continual, gradual improvement to make our family function better. Or, or just recognise the growth yeah. that has taken place as we've as we've wrestled and struggled with choices and decisions. Yeah, what can we do better tomorrow to make our family happier? And this week has been interesting because we've been apart. You've had the kids. I've been on my own. So I really can't talk much about what I could do to be a better dad when I'm not with the kids. And I won't be for another few weeks, except for on the weekends when we catch up. I'm very much looking forward to tonight when I get to hang out with you and, and, and the kids again. But well, yes and no, because I think that sometimes we think that our parenting happens in the moment we're with our children, but who we are as a parent also happens in our private moments as well. The person we want to be with our children actually starts in private. So what you're going through this week and what you're trying and striving for to be a better parent while you haven't had the kids in your care impacts our family in enormous ways. Yeah, yeah, and, and I've certainly done a lot of thinking about parenting this week, that's for sure, and missing the kids as well. So, Refereeing I, over the phone. Like I said, I'm looking forward to uh, being with you guys uh, later tonight. Um, the reason that we're doing today's podcast and the topic that we've got is because we thought we'd take you behind the scenes. What is it that makes a family pack up and move? How do you make that decision, especially when you make it fairly quickly like we have? So we thought we'd give you a, a bit of a sneak peek and share the story about why we're leaving Brisbane and and heading to the coast. So on Monday, we gave you a little bit of an insight into the last six months of my headspace yeah. and, and my challenges, which while it was me having to kind of do the heavy lifting in relation to the thought processes, it had a huge impact on our whole family. It's been a pretty rough six months as you've been uh, psychologically low uh, to say the very least, the kids have felt it. I've felt it. it, it I mean, it, it reverberates out. But uh, obviously, you're feeling it the most because you're the one that's going through it, and you can see the impact that it's having on everyone. But it's still, you, you feel even worse about feeling bad because you can see what's happening there. So, well, the reality is, I, I literally I got to a point where I thought the only way that I could see through this was I had to walk. I actually had to walk out the door, leave everything behind, and find myself a little cabin in the woods and disappear. That's what it felt like. It was so overwhelming and all I could see was I was disappointing and letting everyone that I loved down because I wasn't able to do all of the things that I wanted to do and I thought that everyone would just be better off without me. Yeah, so, so and, and that's a horrible, horrible, hard place to be. But as you went through that thought process over a number of months, what you identified is that even though there's a lot to like about where we've been in Brisbane – uh, we've got beautiful neighbours and th- there were a whole lot of things that we could tick boxes on and say, look, this is great and this is great and this is great. There was more missing than there was present. And the the good that we had uh, was not enough to say we want to keep living this way. We were in that hard place. We've identified these things that are missing. And the real catalyst, I think every couple goes through this. Every time you go on a holiday to the coast, you start looking in the real estate windows or you start having that conversation to you, 
wouldn't it be nice to live here or to have this experience? Wouldn't it be nice to be closer to the beach? Wouldn't it be nice to be able to walk along the sand a couple of times a week instead of once every couple of months? And, and, and as we've talked to people about the decision we've made, that's the thing that everyone says. They're like, oh, yeah, every time we go to the coast, we're like, oh, wouldn't it be good to live here? So- I wonder if it's like Emily, though. She came in the other morning and she said, when I grow up, I want a limo filled with lollies. <laughs> that's right. It's just this dream, this wish. I wonder if, I wonder if holidaying on the coast and living on the coast are different. Mm, well, I guess well, – no, I don't think it is because we've done it so many times throughout our lives. We've lived on the coast a lot and we know that that's what we want. We know that's what we miss. We, we, we love that. So um, we talked about that and, and I remember as we drove home from the coast, I looked at you and said if, – if, not, not that I'm preempting anything here at all, but if I found out that I only had a year to live or a month to live or whatever – the first thing that I would do is I would pack up the house and sell and move to the coast. I, that's where I get my energy from. I, I mean, I just live for being on the beach. And um, after I said that, I remember we, we sort of sat in silence for a moment and then I said to you- You did not. I said it. I said, what on earth are we doing? You reckon you said that? Oh, I said I that. Said, I said, what are we doing? You said you- Really? Yes. No, it was me. I'm sure it was oh, me. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> okay, it was of, us. One of us said to the other- why on earth are we doing this if this is where we want to be? Why, why are we not here? And we've identified, maybe it's a, a really privileged position, but we've all got choice. If we move to the coast, we can't possibly live in quite as nice a home. We can't have quite as much land. We can't have a lot of the things that we've got in Brisbane because the cost of living in Brisbane, the cost of real estate in Brisbane is a lot lower than it is on the coast. But there's those things on the coast that matter to us. And so we're willing to pay the price to do that. And that was um, that was a couple of weeks ago. And now you're on the coast. <laughs> Just like that. I love the Helen Keller quote. Life is a daring adventure or it is nothing. And it has certainly been a daring adventure ever since you came into my life. <laughs> Let's make it an adventure. <laughs> After the break, a couple of other ideas about making these kinds of changes with your family. It's the Happy Families Podcast. Are screens creating tension at home? Tweens, Teens and Screens is a webinar to guide families to healthy, safe, super screen solutions. Buy it today at happyfamilies.com.au slash shop. It's the Happy Families Podcast, the podcast for the time poor parent who just wants answers now. I'll do better tomorrow. What's working? What's not? How can we be better? We've decided that we can be better if we live near the beach. We can have uh, a little bit more lifestyle, even if we've got to drive 10, 15 minutes to get there. Uh, We're looking forward to a, a sea change, like so many other people, as a result of what COVID has done, the the awareness that things can change and that we've perhaps got more options than we thought. It's interesting. We have been oscillating on this decision about whether or not we stay where we are. We have a beautiful home and we've got beautiful neighbours and we've really, really loved our personal space. So your body's hard. It's really hard. And as such, the idea of moving away and leaving those things behind has been really hard. Mm. And for the last two or three years now, we've kind of talked about the fact that we miss the lifestyle that living near the beach afforded our family. Yeah. We used to take the kids down to the beach before we before school in the morning. I know. They'd show up with wet hair. because they'd Port Kembla Beach. They'd be swimming. Or, you know, in late afternoon, we'd go down for a walk along the beach with the dog. Or you and I would do the harbour walk at night time once the kids were all asleep. Like, we miss... The, the, just the relaxing. You need to stop or everyone's going to move to the coast and there's not going to be any space for us. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's, it's such a different way of life. It is. And so we've missed that and we've talked about it for years, but we've always felt like we're just, we've, we're here. We've made a decision to be here. We've got lots of commitments here and it just didn't feel like we actually really could make that choice. But over the last few weeks as we've kind of, I guess, had this epiphany, if we were going to end, if life was going to end, we weren't going to be sick. We just, if life was going to end in the next few years, what would we change? And this is the one thing that we not only have control over, but would change in a heartbeat. So how's the house hunting going? Um, you, I've looked at lots of houses. Do you know your way around the coast yet? <laughs> I'm getting there slowly. <laughs> So what we've actually done is we've gone and hired an Airbnb for a couple of weeks just so that we can get ourselves oriented and we're probably going to end up renting for a while. So the reason this has kind of happened so fast is the kids have got to start school, right? Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't have done it so quickly otherwise. No, and so it was either we wait a whole year and let our daughter who's in year 12 finish or 
we relocate now because we have a daughter starting year seven. So she's starting a brand new school as well. And the reality is we actually want to be there. Mm. So let's go. We've literally in about 72 hours. <laughs> it, 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 we were literally driving home from the coast and we said, let's do this. And within two weeks, you'd moved. It was, it was literally that fast. And, and that's what I love about it. You, you've got one last idea to probably share to, to, to maybe inspire or give some ideas. Well, I found a couple of quotes. And this one I found a little while ago while I was still in some pretty deep mess. And it just said, even though it doesn't feel like it right now, you're going to end up exactly where you need to be with the people who love you the most, doing what you were created to do. Until then, just keep going. And I, I just loved the vision that it provided for me, that there was hope. There is something out there that is going to fill our lives with the things that we want. And the beach is definitely one of those things. And just that notion of just keep going, because while ever you keep going, you're moving forward. Even if it's just a tiny little shuffle, we're making we're making progress. Yeah. But then after we'd made the decision, and granted, there's a few people who think we're completely nuts. Bonkers. <laughs> I saw this. It came up on my feed, and it ju- I just loved it. It said, even if you go for it and it doesn't work out, you still win. You still had the guts enough to head straight into something that frightened you. That type of bravery will take you places. And as I read that to you, you were kind of like, whoa, I think there is something, there's so much energy around making a decision that feels right for you, even if it doesn't make sense to anyone else. And the reality is it doesn't make sense to anyone else but us. And I don't know what school the kids are going to go to yet. We don't have a permanent residence yet. We don't have friends. But this decision has just felt right from the moment we made it. And I have more clarity and more presence in this decision than I have had for a long time. Yeah, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Uh, Goethe is what uh, Goethe is best known as, uh, says this great thing. He says, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Actually, I'm not sure if it was Goethe, but that's who it's usually uh, attributed to. Anyway, we uh, feel like we're doing something a little bit bold. We wanted to share that with you. Hopefully it's inspiring. Hopefully it's not too indulgent. Thank you for letting us share this part of our story with you and we look forward to keeping you updated on how we go in the house hunting and the school searching and and the move uh, which is um, a little bit challenging being separated like this Uh, the happy families podcast is produced by justin ruan from bridge media craig bruce is our executive producer if you'd like more info about making your family happier you can uh, i don't know contact a real estate agent on the coast perhaps (laughs) or uh, for something a bit more practical happyfamilies.com.au 